Dolphins Bills, and this is the one I alluded to that I this was the this was the one that was kind of different from the script. I guess tonight's game, I also don't know the script. We talked about it a lot. Brady and the Bucks and the Cowboys. We'll see Cowboys what happens. In their there. first playoff game of a season. Done. Hmm? Dolphins Bills. Dolphins playing with their seventh round quarterback, Skylar Thompson. Hmm. Um Bills. The whole storyline that's been there. Uh, DeMar Hamlin was not in the building. I, I assumed he would be. That's fine. Um, get better, obviously. Um, I don't know. Uh, bills, bills go up 14-0. And you're like, this is what I expected. It was a 13-point spread. You know, how, how ugly is this going to get? Credit to the Dolphins, man. Uh, easily the most counted out team this weekend. Um, and rightfully so. I mean, we're you're on a third string quarterback, uh, playing against probably the favorite, the Super Bowl favorites coming into the year, who you know, thirteen and three. They've their storyline is obviously intense, and you know, not a storyline they asked for, but it's it's part of their season now. Bills seventeen nothing after they kicked the field goal in Miami. Field goal, field goal, interception, touchdown. It's 20, it's 17 to 17. The Bills do flex part of the reason they're so special. They get the ball back six plays uh, in 29 seconds to get a field goal to keep the lead. I do think that was massive for them. And I don't want to say it ends up being the difference because uh, obviously the game, the game plays out to the score a little bit. Fumble touchdown coming out of the half. The Dolphins are up 24 to 20. Everyone was just kind of looking around like this. This isn't how the script works, right? This. We're not doing this. No, right? We're not. We're not doing this, man. Uh, And we ended up not. It wasn't pretty. I mean. The Dolphins end up scoring a a nice 11, 11 play drive finished by. Uh. Uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. But then we've got three straight punts. Dolphins have it back. They lose it on downs. That's the end of the game. But man, this was the one that was off script or felt like off script this weekend from what you thought the script could be. You have to give a little credit to the Dolphins. A lot of the gossip at the bar, and again, guys drinking and sports gambling, was that the uh, the Bills, sports gambling-wise, had felt underwhelming to a few of my buddies this year. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of big spreads when when you're one of the elite teams like that. Uh, I think there was a little bit of divisional. Skylar Thompson. This, <laughs> this game is not what the Bills season is about anymore, especially as we get uh, the Bills-Bangles game next week. I mean, my goodness. Talk about your NFL scripts. Uh, this was the one that was off. I, uh, as you guys know, I was tough on Tua and the Dolphins this year. Uh, obviously not going to take a victory lap on Skylar Thompson, the seventh round pick, losing to Buffalo. Um, the fight they showed in this game was impressive. McDaniel as a head coach is an absolute win. Uh, and by this point, like, I'm rooting for Tua. I, I mean, the, you know, the concussion stuff and the way he got beat up, I, uh, knock on wood, hope he's back and hope. Hope I can be more wrong on that next year. Uh, but for now, the Bills advanced. Uh, but yeah, you kind of thought the, the whole playoffs was going to get jacked up by that because, you know, we've done, we've done all of this now. We've done the neutral home field. If they get to the Chiefs, we're getting the Bengals game. Felt like the script was broken for a little bit. Bills move on, which brings us to 